Hey guys, Sam here, and I'm actually going to teach you guys how to make masking on Sony Vegas with Photoshop. Doing it with Sony Vegas alone is hard enough because of, it's just harder to do. So I'm going to show you the easier way to do it. Again, you need Photoshop or GIMP. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your little scene. And you want to save it frame by frame. I'll show you what I mean in a second if this loads. It'd be nice if it does. There we go. See, I'm already making a hot and cold mask. So expect that soon. Maybe in a couple hours or so. I mean, it doesn't take that long. What I'm going to do is create a new folder. Let's see. There it was. Okay, I lost it. Create a new folder. There it was. Uh, I'm going to name this Conga Mask. Because that's the scene I'm masking from, anyways. So, hey. Anyone want to click on it? And if you've already taken screenshots from Sony Vegas, it's just going to do this. But what you want to do is make it an image one, so you just know. And you want to save. And you want to keep on doing that over and over again. But take your time with this, because Sony Vegas can freeze a lot. And you just want to keep on doing this. Until you get the full scene of what you want to mask. Then I only take a couple at a time and and focus in Photoshop, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. But what I do is I take the uh, quick selection tool, which if you don't know what that is, you gotta right click where the magic wand tool is and hit quick select. If you are in GIMP though, you want to use the lasso tool. I mean, there is an easier way to use, there's an easier way to mask with GIMP, and I will leave a link to that in the description. Because I'm not too familiar on masking with GIMP. I'm, I've only been doing it with Photoshop, so it's fun. But you just want to do the quick selection tool, and you make, make sure everything is, like, Outline and stuff. And you want to make sure the character itself is just the only thing you copy. Or characters. In, the, in this case, I'm just doing Brittany. Then you want to cut it. Create a new layer. And then put a green screen behind it. It does not have to be um, green. Because if you're doing Theodore, you want to do a red. Red or blue for Theodore. Uh, yeah. And then you want to go to edit, paste special, and then paste in place where it already was. And to make sure if it was, if it's in the right place, you want to go to the green screen layer. Oh yeah, I forgot to note that you need to make another, make two layers. I forgot to do that. But you want to make sure it's in place. There's always going to be a little white outline, but that's fine. That's completely normal. Then you want to put the green screen back up. File, save as. It's just going to save in your folder. And save it as either a PNG or a JPEG. Which I prefer doing a PNG since Sony Vegas' default is JPEG. And it'll be a lot easier to delete the originals. So you can just save the masking parts. And you just want to do that. And let me do this again, real quick, because this is easy for me to do. I mean, I personally think this is the easier way to do it, because it doesn't look as choppy, but if you're R.L.E. Rios, yeah, 
is pretty damn good at doing mess. Okay. Be good. Save as. No, I have to open another Vegas because I already have these going. And I'm gonna have to finish that at some point so I can just mask that. Um. So we gotta wait for that, I guess. So sad. There you go. Now what you want to do, if you have a Windows computer like me, it's going to notice that on your quick access tool, access bar, quick access bar, my bad, that it's going to show the folder you're using right around here. And you want to show only JPEGs. <laughs> We're not, you you want to do um PNGs, my bad. Um It doesn't look like that's what's here, but oh well. Let me reopen this. There we go. Then you want to get the green screen images. Not that. I personally would have deleted the. Um, sorry, I can't speak today. I would have personally deleted the original pictures, the ones without the green screen, because it's just easier to do. And put them all in Sony Vegas at once. And here's what I do. I just go one frame, well, one over with this thing right here, the next frame, and then delete that, the rest of that, and just keep doing that. I'll show you. It's going to be the same frame, but uh, that's alright. I mean, it's not the same frame. And note, if you're doing a slower scene, and there are two of the same frames, you want to do both of those, because that's what, what it is, so. But if you're doing a fast motion scene, it's most likely not going to be there. Just going to keep doing that. See, it just goes up. I'll put a green screen under that. The same color is slider, but so there you have it. There's how to make a mask. Again, I will be having this mask up within a couple hours or so because it doesn't take me too long to actually make the mask itself. It's just putting to get putting it together and all the frames and stuff, but does it so i'll see you later guys and bye